Getting your puppy used to being touched is a really important part of the habituation process. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do today. The ways you can habituate your puppy to touch are to first of all look at the touch sensitive areas on your puppy. And those touch sensitive areas are on the top of the head, around the muzzle, the paws, the stomach and the tail. Your puppy also has very, very sensitive nerve endings down the spine and at the top of the tail. I'm going to get him used to being touched in particularly touch sensitive areas. And first of all, I'm going to start playing with his ears. And when I do this, I literally just touch the ear very, very gently and then either praise him or give him a little treat. This is building up the positive association with the hand coming towards his ears, touching it, and then he gets something really good in return. But also, the touch itself mustn't be too harsh. The touch itself has got to be gentle so he actually likes it. Lots of puppies, when they are stroked and they are petted and they are touched in a hard way, get a real aversion to being touched and then they grow up to adult dogs that don't want anybody near them. So the way you do this is really important. So touch the ear and treat. Touch the ear and treat. Now, other touch sensitive areas of the body. The stomach. I always just like to massage the stomach very, very gently as well so puppies get used to that. Also, I like to go down the back, down the spine where there are sensitive nerve endings and also the tail as well. A lot of puppies do not like their tails being touched. So again, I'll take the tail, touch it, good, and treat, nice, very good. I'll take the tail, touch it, good, and treat. Oh, yes. This has all got to be a really positive experience and a gentle experience for your dog. Good, okay. Now, one of the most touch sensitive areas on your dog's body are your dog's feet. A lot of dogs do not like their feet being handled at all, but you're gonna have to handle the feet on a daily basis and you're also going to have to handle the feet because you're gonna to have to learn how to trim your dog's nails. So, you can start habituating your puppy to having their feet being touched and here's how you do it. Same sort of thing. You take the foot, good. Just squeeze the foot a tiny bit, like I'm doing here, good, and give your dog a piece of food. Nice. And the next time I do it, I'll also take and go between the pads, just a very little gentle pressure between the pads too. Good. Yes. Nice. When he puts his paw up, I'm going to hold it. Good. Lovely. This is going to make it easy when your dog goes to the groomer has its nails clipped to the groomer, when your dog goes to the veterinarian and the veterinarian has to look at your dog's pads. When you look at your dog's muzzle, you'll be able to see fine hairs called whiskers or vibrissae around their muzzle, underneath their chin and on the top of their eyes. Now, these hairs are really important for a puppy's sense of touch because they detect changes of airflow. So for example, when a dog is approaching an object, it doesn't just see it and smell it, it also senses the fact that the object is approaching because the airflow through these whiskers changes as well. If you trim your dog's whiskers, you're really compromising your dog's ability to sense the world around him. Knowing that these whiskers are very sensitive means that when you touch your puppy around the mouth, be careful. Now puppies, when they go to the veterinarian, they have to have their teeth checked. You should really be cleaning your puppy's teeth every day. And so they have to get used to being handled and having a human hand come into their mouth and touch their teeth. So again, with the habituation process, I just get pups really used to having their teeth lifted. Good massaging the gums a little bit, good, and then praising. You can either use praise or you can use a piece of food. And then go to the other side, lift your dog's lips, massage the gums a little bit, and then give your dog a nice pet. 
and that's how you habituate your puppy positively. I'm Victoria Stilwell for eHow Pets.